Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our first edition of Building the Bridge. Obviously, um, because of the uh, COVID-19 and the health um, precautions that have been taken, uh, we were not able to launch our first bridge service uh, this past Sunday on Easter. Uh, and, you know, as disappointing as that may be, I, I, I do believe that uh, through um, trials and tribulations comes opportunity. So this is an opportunity each week to share with you all uh, some things that have been, um, uh, that have, have led up to uh, this bridge service that will eventually launch. And I wanted to share that with you uh, today and give you a brief, uh, a brief word of encouragement the, uh, the concept of uh, this informal service um, it came to me a couple of years ago, um, Easter weekend, ironically. And I remember talking to our pastor about it and, and, and praying over it. And, um, you know, we, we, we liked that idea at the time. Um, but, you know, it's... Um, for those who don't know, know much about my, uh, my home life, I have three young kids at home. I work full time outside of the church. So the last thing I felt I really needed was, you know, something else to do. Uh, I got, I got enough, I got enough going on already. However, um, as time went on, I, I, you know, the idea just kept coming back to me, kept coming back to me. And I thought, well, um, I might want to go ahead and see this through and see um, exactly uh, what it is that God wants to use it for. So that's why two years later, we are looking to, to finally launch this thing. And, and so the, the way that this ministered me personally, I hope will be uh, encouragement for you. I hope it can minister to you as well. And that's just this reminder that, um, that God will, um, when he, when he puts a plan, puts a purpose to your life, long-term, long-term, short-term, whatever it is, you have to have a total trust in him. Um, you have to have, uh, you have to focus on not focus on you know, what it is that he wants you to do and not let the other distractions and self-doubt and other things uh, uh, hold you back from carrying out that purpose. Uh, and then you have to have faith in the fact that God's not going to give you more than you, than you can handle. He knows your limits better than you do. So for those who have been wrestling with... Um, wrestling with this same thing. It could be, it doesn't have to necessarily be a new service. It could be all, all kinds of different things. But if, you, if you're wrestling with uh, just uh, the fact that you, that you believe that God is wanting you to do something and the self-doubt and uh, um, you know, other trials and tribulations that you may be going through may be uh, holding you back, restraining you, uh, from doing that, making you think that you can't, uh, just remember uh, that God chose you to do that. And if He chose you to, if He if He has chosen you to do that, uh, He will equip you with what you need to do to do so. So don't be afraid to to carry out God's plan. Don't be hesitant. Uh, in that case, like I was, I was hesitant. Uh, but, you know, God sometimes has a way of uh, getting my attention and he can, uh, and hopefully this, uh, this message, this word of encouragement, this devotion will help get your attention as well. That is to put total trust and faith in God and he will, uh, he will, and he will give you what you need. You will be blessed and he will get glory. Until next week, I, I hope that you all are 
stay safe and healthy and blessed. And uh, we'll uh, give you another short video next week, another devotion as we prepare for the bridge. It'll be coming soon. There's no deter uh, definite date yet since we've had to reschedule it. But as soon as we're all able to meet again uh, and be together, which is what we so badly want and desire, um, we will give you these these brief videos each week talking about uh, anything that's on my heart uh, and, and giving you uh, the encouragement that some of you may be looking for during this time. From, from myself and everyone on staff here at Enon, just want to let you know that we love you and we miss you. We'll see you soon. Take care.